Hello my friends, this is Paul and welcome to A Common Touch of Fantasy. And today we are reviewing and talking about a book I read called How to Read a Book by Mortimer and Adler. Um, I already took this book back to the library so I put up a little picture of it up here. Now I wrote a pretty extensive written review for this. Uh, a lot of the things I'm going to be talking about are in the written review. The synopsis of the book is in the written review. I'm not going to take the time to go over the synopsis of the book. I'm going to tell you the things that this book changed about the way I am going to read in the future. Now the following things are the things that I either learned or was reminded of or are just common reading tips, reading things that I just don't do enough that I want to do. For some of you guys this is probably things that you already know, things that you take for granted while you're reading. But for me, some of these things I have to struggle with and I have to improve on. So the following things are the things that I found the most important when it comes to reading a non-fiction book. Number one, active reading is really the only type of reading that you can do. Reading that just goes through the motions, that's impassive, just to get done with the reading, is basically worthless. Uh, you're not going to remember things that you're just reading just to add another book on your shelf that you've read. Uh, with nonfiction, you're really reading to gain knowledge, not even to gain facts. You're not reading just to spout out a bunch of facts to people and make people think you're smart. You're reading nonfiction to gain knowledge. The difference is, knowledge is being able to take what has been given to you and then be able to yourself summarize all of it and then you can compare that work to other works. Number two, a well-read individual is not someone that reads more books than others but that understands more quality books than others. Number three, you must challenge yourself as a reader or you will not grow as a reader. I'm challenging myself. I am trying to read uh, Russian literature and it is difficult for me, but I am challenging myself. Number four, you should not read every sentence the same. Some parts of books should be read faster, other parts should be re read slower. Uh, this is big for me. Uh, I've always read nonfiction books like I read fiction books every single word. This is not how you read nonfiction books. You are allowed to skip things in nonfiction books. You're allowed to speed read. You're allowed to slow down and reread one paragraph ten times. This is how you read nonfiction. Uh, with that, number five, don't be afraid of skipping irrelevant information. Reading nonfiction is not like reading fiction. Number six, you cannot criticize a book until you completely understand the book and you can give a synopsis of the book. You cannot say you agree or disagree until you can understand. Number seven, the margins in books are there to make marks. Uh, I never mark in my books, but I have started to and I find that I actually like it a lot. Number eight, the parts of the books that you don't understand are usually the most important parts of the book. Reread them until you understand. You know, sometimes when you read nonfiction, even and even fiction, uh, certain paragraphs just kind of go over our heads, and we just think, "Oh, what did I just read?" But those are so important. Those are the things that are important because if you didn't understand it, that means it's a difficult passage, and if it's a difficult passage, that means it's important to the author. Uh, number nine, you must understand the definitions of the terms being used by the author and the definitions that the author is using before you can even understand what the author is trying to say. Uh, this is very important for a lot of highly academic nonfiction books. If you don't understand the terms that they're using and how they're using it, you just will not get anything out of the book. All right, so number 10, nonfiction. Uh, push yourself to think about the book more actively while you're reading it. Summarize sections, summarize paragraphs, summarize sentences in your head while you're reading. This is extremely important. I am horrible at this. I have such a hard time doing two things at once with my brain. 
and with this I struggle with and this is why my reading is so much slower than a lot of people because this is what I struggle at. I need to be able to summarize an important paragraph while I'm reading that paragraph. Alright so here are some tips that I found very interesting for fiction. Uh, this is probably what most of you guys want to hear so here we go. Fiction. The purpose of fiction is to feel not resist the effect that a work of fiction is having on you emotionally. Embrace your emotions, become vulnerable, and give yourself permission to accept the feelings that you are having. Minimize in your life as many things that might stop you from having a non-honest reaction to a book. This is huge for me, and I think this is big for a lot of booktubers. You must be able to feel the book honestly, do not think about the review. Do not think about the stars. Do not think about what other people have given it. Do not think about how overhyped, how underhyped. Do not think about these things. And if you can't come to a book with that type of honesty, put the book to the side. Wait until you can come to that book with complete honesty and read it and then just be vulnerable and accept the emotions that you are feeling while reading it. Uh, number two, the purpose of fiction is to experience. You are experiencing what the characters are experiencing. Number three, you must be able to reduce the plot to its most simplest of explanations, but also see how all the parts of the book create a larger whole. If you can't give a one sentence or two sentence synopsis of a book, then you more than likely do not understand the book enough to give a um, good summary. Number four, only when you can understand what the author is trying to make you feel or experience is when you can then criticize. If you don't know what the author's intent of the emotion that he's trying to create in you, then you can't criticize it because you're not understanding it. Number five, the unity of a plot is best experienced in as few sittings as possible. Uh, this is important because some books take me longer to read and a lot of times those books end up getting lower scores and I'm more critical of those books. The shorter amount of time that you take to read a book, more than likely the more honest and more open you are to that book and the plot and how it worked. Number six, live in the author's world so that you can then understand the character's actions. Don't criticize the characters until you put yourself in that world. Uh, number seven, if you think something is beyond you, keep trying, keep going anyway. Do not stop, do not give up. So in the end, the three most important things that I took away from reading this book was to read harder books, number one. Don't read nonfiction like I read regular fiction. And become extremely vulnerable to feel while reading fiction. Uh, these are the three most important things that I learned while reading this book. I gave this book a three out of five based off of just the book alone. There are a lot of dry spots and I did skip a lot of sections but the ideas, the knowledge that it gave me, um, I gave it a four. So I ended up giving the book a four just because it has changed the way I look at books and how I approach books. And that is important. So I ended up giving it a four. It's just not the best book to actually read. It's a good book to think about after you've read it. All right, hopefully uh, all that made sense. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, Please like, comment, subscribe. I would love to hear any feedback that you have on this. Uh, please put it in the post below in the comment section. Uh, remember, read the written review for a more detailed explanation of the actual summary of the book. Uh, thank you so much for watching.